Welcome to Texture Tutorials. Today we are going to learn about currying in JavaScript. Uh, I know some of you guys are very excited uh, when I said curry because you might be hungry, but it's not what you think. However, if you really want to spice up your JavaScript code, you can definitely use some currying. And currying, uh, and jokes apart, uh, currying is very useful in JavaScript. It was uh, originally developed uh, in programming language by this guy called Haskell Curry, and hence the name Curry. Um, you can still find it in some languages, like Scala has it. It has a native currying function. However, JavaScript is a functional language, and it does not provide this native implementation of currying. But what JavaScript has is something very useful. It's called closures. So we're going to use closures to build currying function. First, we are going to build a very simple example. And then we're going to build something that we can use, uh, a useful example, and then some crazy one. Uh, so let's get started. OK, in this example, we're going to build a, a function called add. And this will have an argument, a. And inside, all it's going to do is return another function. Um, with the argument B. And this function will return A plus B. Yeah, simple, right? Okay, now, so when I run this add function, it will return me a function, not a value. So I can do this. I can say var um, add to 5 equal to add 5. Now add to 5 is another function because you know it executed add with a equal to 5. And it returned me another function. Now what this function would look like. Now remember, um, a is already passed. I haven't passed b yet. So this returning function uh, would look something like this. Uh, it would have a as a closure inside. So it's essentially this add to five function is essentially this. So whatever I pass inside this, uh, it would basically add five to that. If I pass one, it would become six. Uh, if I pass two, it would become seven. So Let's uh, let's run this. So I can say console.log, and I'm going to execute this function add to five with one in it. So this should return me six. Uh, let's execute this. Yes, it returns me six. Um, this is all fine. Uh, it's a simple function. You can see the use of it. It doesn't have much use. I mean, if you want to add to function, you can just do it, right? You don't need to use something complex like this. In the next example. Instead of this uh, adding functionality, keeping inside uh, as, as a function, I'm going to create a separate curry function. And the uh, instead of add, I'm going to create an average function. So let's do it. Also, I'm going to use uh, some ES6 features. Um, I know Chrome and Firefox uh, has already implemented some of those, some of those uh, ECMA6 or ES6 or whatever ES2015 functions. Um, so I'm going to use them. Okay, so first what I did, I created this uh, uh, function called av, average function. I'm just going to go avg. Uh, it's an average function, um, and it has, it takes n number of arguments. This is how you write in ES6, uh, three dots and n, which means it takes n number of arguments. So you don't need to know in advance how many arguments you're passing. And inside, remember in ES5, you 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 would you don't even have to pass anything and inside you would have an argument uh, arguments uh, variable and which you you can uh, basically splice slice and uh, get really what you want but here you directly get an array uh, n so I can use that array n inside with all the arguments and I'm calculating average of all the n numbers. Now I'm going to create another function called spice up. This is going to spice up our code. 
uh, basically it's going to carry it. So it's a function. Uh, the first thing it will do, it will take function as an argument. So I, I can pass this average function um, as a callback function inside here. And it will also take a bunch of arguments, uh, arguments and number of arguments. And um, so it has, it will have this uh, n available as an array. Now it will also return like previous example. It will say return. Um, what it will do is uh, it will return a function. Now this function also takes n number of arguments, but to not be confused with this n, uh, we're just going to say m. Okay, so we'll have a, a arguments as an array m. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these arguments, which will be a closure inside. Remember uh, in the past example, we looked at that. And I'm going to concat with the m arguments. So I can do this using, I can say n dot concat m. This would give me another array with both the concation. Um, and the function I'm, I'm, I'm passing here, I'm going to use that function. Uh, and I'm going to pass those m arg uh, the n plus m arguments. I can use apply function to do that. So I can say fn dot apply. Uh, I'm going to pass this and then the arguments. Um, if you don't know about apply, I have also a tutorial called uh, call apply and bind, a very useful one. I'll provide a link here just if you don't know. But Right now, to, to explain it, um, I'm taking a function apply, a function name, and apply, and then whichever argument I'm binding to, and it will take the arguments from it, and it will basically execute this. And I'm going to return this. So um, now let's see how it works. So uh, I'm going to say variable do average equal to spice up and first thing I'm going to do I'm going to pass this this average function and then I'm going to pass a number of arguments one two three okay you already see the average of this three numbers is two now I can just say console dot log and I can take this do average and I can pass two here. Instead of pa passing um, an array, I'm just going to pass one uh, number, which I will take as an array because here um, this would be m. So it's an array with one element basically. Um, when I run this, oh, I actually made a mistake here. This was an average. When I run this, I get two, which is correct. Now, actually, uh, actually, I can here I can just pass another array one, four, five, six, and it will give me three point five, which is correct. So now you can see the use for this because uh, doing the average is a very expensive uh, function, right? You don't want to do it every time you have a new number. So what you can do is you can find the numbers that you have, create an average, and hold it as a uh, as a closure. And then whichever new number you come you you get, uh, you just use a two numbers average, and it's very useful. Instead of average, I can actually pass another callback function that that completely does something differently, right? Instead of average, it does a sum of it, right? And it would work perfectly fine. So this is very useful. And if you look at a lot of uh, JavaScript libraries, um, they're probably using this current function inside. Now let's look at a crazy example. By the way, I'm going to save this example um, to this URL so you can play around with it. Now let's look at a crazy example. So I'm going to create an, uh, a function called say what equal to 
function, and I'm going to pass a argument a, which returns a function. Basically, I can say, say hello to friends using JavaScript. So I have to just pass A as hello, B as uh, you, uh, friends, and C as JavaScript. I can actually do this in one line. I can say, say what? In JavaScript, you can do something like this. So you don't have to really call function and function. You can just do it in one line using hello. <laughs> to friends and using JavaScript. If I run this, I would get say hello to friends using JavaScript. Now I can do the same thing by just creating a bunch of functions um, because I can say whatever to whomever using whatever that I have. Uh, so I can say, say hi instead of hello, equal to say what. And I can say use, use that say hi to say say hi to me equal to say hi and then um, and I can say say hi to me using it should say it's, it's a saying hi to me using nothing but as you can see the use of it you know if you have a bunch of elements um, you can one line you can say color this uh, red with this border whatever right so um, uh, this is a crazy example just to show you how some of the stuff works. Hope you have learned something from this tutorial. If you did, then please uh, follow me on Facebook and Twitter and subscribe the channel, like the video, and provide some constructive comment or question if you have.